let's take a look at how to create the shape that is in activity 1.2.5 number five that's the shape that looks like this guy right here so what they've done here is they've given us a multi-view uh, drawing here they've dimensioned it and it's our job to go ahead and recreate this using certain tools and certain functions or um, features inside of um, Inventor. Okay, so let's let's take a look at this document here, or this little guy here. So you're going to notice right off the bat that this has a diameter of 40. Well, that's obviously got to be millimeters. Okay, so be, because otherwise 40 inches is almost four feet. That would be just absolutely ginormous inside of Inventor if, if that was in inches. But also you would notice right here it says that everything is in millimeters. Okay, so we're going to create this shape i'm gonna pretty much focus on this one right here and i'll grab some things off of this here as well so um, i'll kind of go back and forth on things here all right let's take a look i'm gonna go into uh, a project folder now for you guys you would have been able to hit projects up here at the top somewhere and then select the folder that you need from here i'm gonna go up here i'm gonna hit new it's gonna bring this menu up for my templates, okay? Um, I am going to open this up. Because we're working in metric, I should be able to hit metric, okay? And now I can grab a standard millimeter.ipt. I'm gonna double click, and it's gonna open up a IPT file for me, and everything that I put in here will already be in millimeters. So, uh, up first, I'm kind of going through the directions that they provide us inside of the activity, which is right here. Um, they kind of give us some directions on how to sketch this. And I'm going to go about doing it the way that they tell us to. I'm going to try to at least, and then I might add my own little features in there. So let me get this back to my other screen so I can operate properly. So I created a sketch. I'm putting that on my XY plane, and I'm simply going to sketch a 20 by 30 millimeter um, rectangle. So let's get that done. So I'm, uh, notice my top dimension is highlighted. I'm gonna put in my 20 there. I'm gonna hit tab and I'm gonna hit 30. I'm gonna hit enter, okay? Now, look. I can zoom and do some, some things here. Now I have a rectangle that is properly dimensioned as I need it to be, and it's giving me constraints and things along those lines that I really just don't need right now. All right, the next step they want us to do is they want us to finish this sketch. Then we're gonna use the Revolve tool and it says to revolve the rectangle 360 degrees on the th 30 millimeter side, on one of the 30 millimeter sides. So we're gonna grab that, and I'm gonna grab this guy. So it says my profile, it's selected. My axis, so I'm gonna select the axis that I want it to go around. It's gonna go ahead and create now a cylinder for me by doing so, 360 degrees. I can now hit OK. So now what it tells us to do is it tells us to sketch a 10 millimeter square centered on the top of the cylinder. So I'm going to right click, I'm gonna to go to new sketch. I'm gonna grab my rectangle. I might be able to do a different kind of rectangle here. So we got two point rectangles, we got three point rectangles. Um, what about this guy here? Ooh, I like this guy right here. I'm gonna grab that one. I'm going to do my projection of geometry. Then I'm going to make sure I grab that rectangle tool again. Again, it is a two point center rectangle. I'm going to grab here and I'm going to go out 10 millimeters. Hit tab, 10 millimeters, hit it. Now that is locked in place. I'm going to right click, hit OK. And from there, they want us to finish the sketch and they want us to extrude that up. It says to extrude the square 
15 millimeters to create the additive feature. So we just simply change this guy right here to 15 and we're done. Okay. The next step for us to do is to go ahead and, and fill it around here. These edges, I'm highlighting green here, these inner edges. Okay, we're gonna create this little filleted uh, arc looking guy right there. Okay, so in order to do that, we're gonna grab the fillet tool. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna change this to five millimeters and I'm gonna grab that edge right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit control and hold control and I'm going to click this one. And then I'm gonna go around to the other side. I believe I can hit control F4 and I should be able to rotate around. Hit and hold control again. And I should be able to grab that edge. Hit and hold control F4 is what I'm doing on my screen. It might be different on yours because I'm operating on a keyboard actually. And then I'm gonna hit control again and I'm gonna select that one there. So now I should have all four of those edges should be filleted. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. So there's some differences between what they tell us to do for Fusion 360 and Inventor. So Inventor right now won't let me use this chamfer tool and do a distance and angle on this edge down here, okay? which is really kind of making me angry if I'm being 110% honest. And it has nothing to do with my dimensions or anything along those lines. I think it's just a difference between the two programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to just change the sketch that we originally revolved. So to do that, Revolution 1 was the rectangle we drew that allowed us to then revolve to get the original cylinder. So on the plus button next to it, I'm going to hit sketch one. I'm going to go into that. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I am going to probably go ahead and delete this line here and this line here. Okay. Uh, in doing so, now I have to put in lines. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of go ahead and make these lines a little bit longer than I need to. So there's a line right there. You can see me highlighting it green. Okay. And I'm going to make another line kind of it. See how I have that, that uh, I don't want to call it a hidden line, but it's kind of one of those lines that's there. Okay. That's a good thing to have. Um, I am going to come up a little bit and I'm going to, I'm going to create a line this way, a diagonal line. Okay. And from there, I'm going to use dimension and I'm going to go from this line to this line. And I'm hoping, there we go, that's the guy I want right there. And I want to change that to 30 degrees. Okay. From here, I'm going to create another line from here down to where that line, where, they, where those two touch at, really, is my hope. And that, what I can do is to make sure that these do what I want them to is I can just go ahead and extend that line beyond. I'm gonna hit escape to get rid of that, okay? Now what I can do is I can use dimensioning, okay? And I can go, let's do this. Let's use trim actually. Let's trim off some of this excess. So I'm gonna use trim and I'm gonna trim that off. And I'm gonna trim that off. And then anything below here. So now I have this shape here, okay? The only thing I really need to know is I need to know a dimension from here to here. And I'm hoping it gives me that there. That should be five. Woo, everything shifted on me. I don't like that at all. I'm gonna get rid of, I'll tell you what, we're gonna hit Control Z. And I'm kind of doing this on the fly if you can't tell. Um, I'm gonna hit Delete on that dimension. And I'm gonna change this dimension to five, okay? This was supposed to be 30 tall. And overall, this was supposed to be 20. 
Okay, notice we're kind of getting things locked in place here. Everything's turning kind of black, which is good. And let's see, we'll do that guy there. Um, and we should be good. So now I can go ahead and I can hit finish sketch and it should put in a nice chamfered edge for me. Okay, this part is done. You can change the color if you want to. You can change the material if you want to. But overall, this part is done.